All right, we're behind the wheel of the 2013 GMC Savannah Conversion Van by Majestic Van Company, that is. I uh, wanted to start out here inside. There's the mileage 72, 722 currently. Got the dark burl wood on the dash. Got the, uh, the, 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 the brushed aluminum on the uh, steering wheel. Do have your hands-free for your cruise control. Uh, hands-free for telephone and your volume controls on the steering wheel. The steering wheel does, uh, tel does not telescope, but it does adjust up and down. You have power windows, power door locks, uh, headlights, obviously the split mirrors. Uh, do have your Bluetooth, rear, rear entertainment, rear heat and air, rear mood lighting console. Uh, do have your front and front heat and air, factory radio with CD player and XM. Uh, da, 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 here we go. There's the trailer tow mode, and you can shift manually here on the stock if you choose to. To have 12 volt power, trash control. There's your on or your airbag. And turn it on or off. Your OnStar, 5 volt charging, 12 volt charging, factory cup holder, uh, majestic center console. You can see in there they've got three, four of the uh, wireless headphones for the entertainment, along with remote controls for the system. Huge amount of storage available here with cup holders. Heated seats. There's a little bit of uh, creaking and uh, wear, but no rips, tears, or punctures. Doesn't smell bad in here. Smells normal, like you would expect. Like you would expect. Doesn't smell like anyone's ever smoked in here. The transport of the animals of any kind. Do have some uh, lumbar wear on the driver's seat as expected, but there's no rips, tears, or punctures anywhere in this unit that I've seen. Go around and get in the uh, back side. Show you this here real quick. Okay. Storage in the doors. Let's see about our blinds. Storage in here. Now these seats adjust for legroom. They also recline and incline. There is some wear on the center console right on the edges here. You can see where people are scooting past it. The factory glove box is relocated back here. You have a smart TV that's been installed. Looks like it's a Roku, Roku TV for streaming. There's your rear heat and air controls, rear power. Again, blinds on all the windows. They look to be in good shape. Uh, looks like we got a problem on a headrest. Looks like some marker that somebody decided to make, the, make it personal. I uh, don't see any other issues with the seats. And if you decide you want the van, we'll have to uh, get that taken care of. So, look at the rest of these blinds here, make sure they're good. Looks like they are. Looks like there's a puncture right there. Very small. Something happened with that. And looks like they put their kept their movies there, obviously. There's surround sound speakers. There's more, more storage. And there's six storage cubby holes in each side here. Oh, is it overhead? Nicely done van. Looks like all your blinds are still in great shape. They're not all stained up. All right, let's show you the uh, functionality for the rear sofa bed. Jack storage there, 12 volt power under the back sofa bed. There's going to be a tray for some storage here. Looks like that same color made its way back here. Uh, there's your power bed. There. 
All right. Put these blinds back down. All right, I'm gonna ship this off to you as far as the inside inspection goes. Let me know your thoughts when you're finished looking at these. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.